Well, it took him just over a year on the UFC roster to realize a piece of this UFC middleweight championship. He is the last style bender, Israel Adesanya, a guy you tried to bring in to emulate John Jones back in the day. Absolutely. You knew right away when you watch Israel fight that he has an ability to fight in so many different ways. If he's coming to play a part, he's going to play that part better than anyone else you can find. Yeah. It's because of the adaptability. It's his ability to change the way that he's fighting based on his opponent. In the Derek Brunson fight, he did a lot of kneeing because he knew Brunson was going to wrestle him. But in the fight against Kelvin Gastelum was a lot of punches and kicks because the wrestling threat was not so great. You gotta have that if you hope to compete and stay atop your division for a long time. All right, so here he is representing the American Kickboxing Academy, the inimitable Khabib Nurmagomedov. And this guy makes his way to the Octagon DC. You run out of time setting up everything he's accomplished, but he always puts that status as an undefeated fighter and UFC champion on the line. He will do so again here tonight. The moment he walked in the AKA, you understood that there was something special about Nurmagomedov. He was a guy that was always listening, although he spoke no English. He was always listening and paying attention to try to learn and how to improve himself. And the moment he stepped foot in the gym, he was just open to each and every lesson, and now it's showing over the course of his UFC career. He was undefeated going into the UFC, and he has only built on that and become a champion one of the most well-rounded fighters in all of the UFC. You know, your college wrestling teammates have told me when you showed up at Oklahoma State, you didn't speak English either. No, I didn't. It was all, <laughs> it was all Southern Creole accent. It was all, it was all, hey, my boy. <laughs> right. Well, your English is now very proper, and so is Khabib's, and he's back on the proven ground here tonight, again, trying to prove himself as one of the pound-for-pound -pound greatest fighters on this UFC roster. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's reducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 21 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Israel, the last style bender. Adesanya! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle! All right, grip through the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. Want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. enter his world, especially when it looks like you hold the advantage on the team. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Just out of range with that strike. Oh, nice land there by Nermako Manoff. When he made his UFC debut in 2012, he wasn't striking. No, he did not look like this. That's a credit to his coaches, not only at the American Kickboxing Academy, but at Eagles MMA over in Dynasty. 
Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. So both guys landing it well here. Good action early. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Nice body. Beautiful counter punch. Really settling in when it comes to his counter attack here tonight. And again, making good use of what is a huge advantage in reach. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Oh, beautiful shot there with the hook. I'm not sure his opponent saw that one come. His opponent is taking straight punch. He's hooking right around the guard to land and land efficiently. Mago Medov gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Four strikes to the head. Let's go, grind on him. Push, push, push. Blocks the shot. Big body keep land. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. So 31 total strikes have landed for Israel out of sight. Nice job by the veteran there to counter with a jab to the head. Strong work on the feet by Nermago Meta. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab this young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Nice punch by Adesanya. Just misses there with the left. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Hook to the body here, but strong defense to block the shot by Nermago Medov. Oh, huge Superman punch. Oh, fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Adesanya. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. How good is that right hand? Nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watching this guy go, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. Flush right hand is true. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Oh, what a punch. Kick to the body by Nermago Meta. Lands with the right hand. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Good kicks there by Adesanya. He is going after that overhand right. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice punch there by Adesanya. Big body kick. 10 seconds to go. Oh, slips and rips. Five minutes in the books. Job, All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Ooh, what a punch. 
such a fast leg kick. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. And he continues to work the body here. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off of him by blocking all these attacks. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Magomedov gets touched by that leg kick attempt. And a miss with the right hook. Thus far, 81 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Landing with 41% accuracy tonight against Khabib Magomedov. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Adesanya. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Caught that kick there. Tall fighter and is going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two? Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Make him react to you. You fight. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Ooh, blocks the shot. another knee there DC he talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter in this instance it certainly did nice. Israel Adesanya's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling starting to do some really significant damage to the body here another strike lands there Liver kick. Point. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Another shot lands upstairs. Good punch lands. Ninety seconds to go now. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate Khabib Nurmagomedov. You see. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And how Khabib lands early and he lands off. Nice leg kick. Throws the right hand there. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Missed with that right hand. Watch that strike. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, nice hook by him there. How many times can this young man land this particular punch? Kicks to the body by Adesanya. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, that right hand is on point. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, nice straight punch there by Nermako Meta. Round three next. All 
right, so a huge five minutes turned in by him there. Good work with those leg kicks, man. Real good job with the leg kicks, just really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh. He did a great job of finding an opening and taking full advantage of it. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has... And both guys really throwing with authority. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit, but this guy's defense has been shot tonight. Cat and mouse, you gotta play cat and mouse. Hit, don't get hit, he does a great job of that. Straight punch land. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he got it. He's oh. so He's so bad. Oh, he might be out. Whoa! Gets up again here, but hurt. He needs to start looking to finish now. Oh. Gentlemen, crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Well, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight grip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. All right, we set it inside for the official decision. Dan Here is Bruce Buff. Called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 58 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Israel, the last style bender. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.